Well, making travel easier through Connecticut. That's what one Connecticut congressman is setting out to do. He's pushing for an I-84, I-91 tunnel project. The price tag is a whopper. News 8's Noel Gardner has more. We've got to have infrastructure investment that provides us with economic opportunity and growth and solves problems. Congressman John Larson, passionate about transportation and infrastructure in his pitch to fellow lawmakers about the proposed I-84 and I-91 tunnel project. That proposal would involve rerouting both interstates into underground tunnels. We need a tunnel development that will allow us to recapture our riverfront, reunite the city of Hartford. The system would connect Hartford to its waterfront, freeing up more land for development. This isn't something that'll have a five-year impact, a 10-year impact. These are decisions that will shape what we are as a region and as a state for many decades to come. Bill Schuster, the chairman of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, is taking a first-hand look at the state's transportation challenges. You're completely congested here, and it's one of the choke points in the Northeast Corridor, being right between Boston and New York. He says it's important Connecticut has an efficient transportation system. There's a federal role to play, not to do it all, but to work closely with our partners at the state and local level. Congressman Larson says from start to finish, the price tag will be about $10 billion and thinks it would be money well spent. This recaptures the river. It allows people to have access to the river. It creates intermodal opportunities, meaning road, bike, walk, bus, train, airport, all interconnected. Hartford becomes a hub for the region. It will transform this region. The proposal is being studied by the Department of Transportation. Reporting in Hartford, Noel Gardner, News 8.